Yo, folks, what up? Hey, Trooper, Ketchup, Mandy, Geo, Leo, Sweden, Sir Rector, Baba Boy, Oakheart, Yago Knot, Haimo, Gold Buggy, Celery Crunch, and Fipo. You, you are the early arrivers. You get the worm. <laughs> hey, Master Soda, you're too late. Sorry. No worm for you. <clears throat> yeah, hey, everybody, though. Happy, uh, happy Tuesday. Kind of actually a, a kind of a wacky day in the world of Hearthstone if you're paying close attention. I'm not going to uh, talk too much about supposed leaks and things. Supposed they, they leaked. We won't go into too much detail on leaks, but uh, we did get an official post. As well from Blizzard talking about mercenaries. Uh, so we'll talk about that real quick. Will never come early again. Regis forces worms down the throat of people. <laughs> you get a worm. You get a worm. You're early. Take the worm. <laughs> uh, thanks, other bits, man. I cannot do the worm. No. Cannot do the worm. Yeah, so some of you of you are subscribed to the Hearthstone YouTube channel may have seen a video go up for Mercenaries today. A trailer, you may have clicked it, nothing was there. If you clicked it quickly enough, you may have seen a trailer for Mercenaries. I don't believe that was supposed to come out yet, though. I think that was probably supposed to come out on August 31st, because we did get this post today. Tune in on August 31st for the Mercenaries Showcase. Uh, which is August 31st, game director, game designers, etc. cetera. Hearthstone Dev's going to reveal Mercenaries gameplay content, a launch date, and it might include a surprise or two, which I don't know what that means. That has me intrigued. I don't know anything about this. I have still not seen any Mercenaries you haven't seen. They haven't showed me anything. I don't know if other people have or not. Maybe... But I am zero, I am absolutely clueless on Mercenaries. I have seen only what you guys have seen, like random leaks and stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, next week it seems like we're going to know a lot about Mercenaries. And next month or two, maybe we'll get to play Mercenaries. There's probably a date out there <laughs> if you know where to look, but I'm not going to point you there. Uh, so yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. This stream will have packs, I guess, too. Whatever it happens on the 31st. Uh, from this little trailer or this little uh, this little image here, we did we we can glean a few things. Number one, they did a major glow up on the uh, mercenaries logo. I happen to tweet this. So I'm going to show my tweet here real quick. This this at the top was the old mercenaries logo and the battlegrounds logo and the duels logo, and they all have the same basic format. <laughs> no, Sam thinks the bits first indeed. Uh, maybe you'll be a mercenaries guy. Get us to play mercenaries. Um, so, yeah, they have the same basic format, right? With like this kind of little banner thing drooping down. They each had their own unique banner or whatever. And color duels was sort of this teal. Battlegrounds is this sort of pink. And mercenaries is going to be this sort of red. Uh, which, by the way, if you haven't noticed yet, I utilize those colors in my YouTube thumbnails to indicate which video, you, what what the video type is going to be if it's an alternate game mode. Just just a little clue there for people. Like, see, I use the teal for duels. See the teal, teal, teal on the swords, teal background for duels. And I use the purple for battlegrounds, in case you haven't noticed. See? Purple for battlegrounds. There's the purple. Purple for battlegrounds. See, see these little things YouTubers do to make your life easier. To color code videos for you. for standard. I use class colors, of course. But uh, I'll, I've already got the I've already got a mercenaries thumbnail thumbnail made up using the old logo, a, a templated one, of course. This is just hijacked from battlegrounds. But I have the red ready to go for mercenaries. They've changed it, so I may need to. It looks a little more pink almost in that final version. So we may have to change. May have to change that. Anyway, they, they did a major glow up on the logo. 
It looks a thousand times better. Like. <laughs> I can't, I can't leak. Yeah. Like I said, that was just a Battlegrounds template. Uh, it looks so much better. Like, th these always looked kind of janky, I thought, right? Like, nothing wrong with them. They were fine, but they didn't really capture your eye. This this new Mercenaries logo looks sick. Pink Regis, um, pink Regis, pink for mercenaries. <laughs> yeah, more pink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, thanks for the bits. And uh, four packs. Oh, yeah, Master Store and uh, Mercenaries. Yeah, that's cool. Bunch of free stuff. Uh... So, that, yeah, the logo looks sick. I hope they go back and do the duels and Battlegrounds logos, because those are going to look pretty uh, pretty undercooked compared to the new Mercenaries logo. But I think that sort of is indicative of just how much is going into Mercenaries and how much time and thought and and uh, energy is going into it, which I think is all a good sign, right? That, that's uh, hopeful that it's going to be awesome and sounds like it's going to be huge. So, I don't know. I, like I said, I literally haven't seen a thing that you guys haven't seen. I am clueless. I am looking forward to this stream an unreasonable amount to see how this will affect the future of my life because every new game mode and it's all more videos I got to make and stuff I got to do. So, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. A new game mode's at Hearthstone for all of us. But me in particular, I feel like I got so much work going into it. I feel like they need to tweak the color of this guy's helmet. It, don't, it doesn't really match anymore. They made this like more pink. And this is still very red, whereas this is like red and red, right? Like they adjusted this, but they didn't really color code this much. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's not all we saw, right? Like uh, we got some indication here as well with this image. Uh, you see these like slots in the background, like the window panes, right? Uh, more confirmation that this is going to be, or not confirmation, but more indication uh, for my theory that this will be a hero grinder style game where you, and, and you know, we've seen multiples. This isn't just like my idea, but we've seen multiple data points pointing to this where you're going to collect heroes. You're going to upgrade those heroes, much like Raid Shadow Legends or Marvel Strike Force or one of those kinds of games. Uh, these are like the panes where the different heroes you're collecting are going to go or whatever, right? It may not look like exactly this in game, but it's, you know, a visual indication, I think, of the hero collectability nature I'm expecting out of Mercenaries. Again, that's, that's speculation. I don't really know, but based on all the different data points we have, I I'm feeling more and more secure in the fact that uh, this is going to be that kind of game. We don't know exactly what it means. F? The stream dropped? I'm starting Did you guys have a... Everybody's saying F. Does that mean the stream dropped? Smoothly, it'll run on older devices. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you guys... Can you guys hear me? Oh, it's good now. Oh, okay, weird. We just had a frame drop, I guess. Uh, yes, no, Sam. Yeah, Hearthstone is... is yeah, they've got a ton of like tech debt, I feel like, with the client and just piling more and more stuff onto it. I I'm also worried about that always. It froze for a bit, but I'm back. Oh, okay, weird. Stream almost dropped, but then it caught up. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't even notice. Oh, I do have some drop frames. Yeah, a thousand drop frames. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Keep an eye on it. Let me know if it happens again. You guys were pretty quick with the F, so I knew it was happening immediately. So anyway, I was saying, like, uh, I think this is an indication or suggestion of the sort of hero collector. I call them hero grinders. I don't know what you call. I, I You know, some people call them mobile RPGs, but they're more like the kind of gotcha mobile RPGs. The, the two I'm familiar with are Rage Shadow Legends and Marvel Strike Force. So those are the ones I cite. They both have the exact same format. There's a ton of games like that. I think, like, uh, Fire Emblem has one. I mean, everybody has one now. Hearthstone's going to have one, it sounds like. So we'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays. You know, th that's not inherently a bad thing, right? Like, those gameplay loops can be fun, right? It's just that whether they're monetized fairly or not is often the, the hook. Most of them are monetized super aggressively. So, uh... We'll see if Mercenaries follow suit. I mean, generally, Blizzard takes genres of games and improves and iterates on them, right? And makes them really fun. So I'm, I'm hopeful that's exactly what happens 
uh, with with mercenaries, and it's not too aggressively monetized. Because what happens with most of those hero grinder games is, is like if you get in early and you play it, you're probably pretty okay. You don't necessarily have to spend money, right? But if you come in late, it all often like catching up. It, it takes a billion dollars to catch up <laughs> or feel like you're making progress sometimes. And there's often like big cliffs too. You have to overcome. Or you can grind through them, but it's like, oh god, I gotta spend some money. This is just too much. So it just depends. It, it's all, all up in the air. We'll probably. I, I don't know if we'll know much about the monetization on this sort of thing. I bet they don't talk about the monetization a ton in the reveal. I bet it's mostly going to talk about like gameplay because we don't even know what the gameplay looks like. But but uh, who knows? Uh, hey, Kirsten, no, no big announcement today. They announced an announcement. Uh, they announced they're doing an announcement next week. <laughs> uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, yes. Yeah, that's another similar one. Yeah, there's there's quite a few of those, I think. Uh, Hero Grinder's a redundant name for a sub sandwich. It is. I say Euro though. Uh, I guess it's, it, in some places they, they actually spell it out Hero, though, too. Shade Ladle Ranges. Wait, Shade Ladle Ranges. I wish I knew what that meant. But I don't know. Hearthstone Mercenaries of Warcraft. There it is. Set of heroes. They're mercenaries now. Isn't it roguelike gameplay? Well, roguelike doesn't really tell you gameplay so much as uh, sort of... Uh, overarching structure right like uh roguelike just means repeatable runs and if it's a roguelike that means nothing carries over from run to run uh whereas roguelites sometimes things carry over you know you get like passive upgrades or unlocks or whatever oh i gotcha i see so i we don't know what the the actual like so yes, it is going to be a rogue like I think based yeah on the structure probably um, they've kind of teased that I think but I don't know if it's what the what the it's not going to be Hearthstone gameplay it's it looks like it's going to be something distinct as his battlegrounds is different than normal Hearthstone I think mercenaries will also be different from nor normal Hearthstone and different from battlegrounds like heroes are going to be more like standalone objects or characters i think as opposed to cards if that makes sense but I, I don't know that's just what we're speculating speculating so it w i think it will be more like a uh turn based turn based rpg combat two dimensional turn based rpg combat wrapped in a hero grinder roguelike shell does that make sense <laughs> uh that's my expectation so um so trying to think if there's any so like in raid shadow legends or marvel strike force or whatever right like the actual gameplay where your characters go in and you select abilities and they fight, right? That's kind of like a turn-based RPG, almost like Final Fantasy VII or something, right? Uh, an ability-based, turn-based RPG combat system. But Raid Shadow Legends and those don't actually have roguelike elements. They're more like persistent paths where you just, like, fight. Or they might, but the, as far as I've seen, they have, like... You just keep going up in levels. You beat level 7-3, you beat level 7-4, and now you're on to 8-1, 8-2, 8-3... Nine one nine two nine three, etc. Uh, whereas I think the anticipation here is going to be more roguelike in nature, where you like do a run, and you maybe get some currency, you get some equipment or something, you upgrade your heroes with XP or something. I don't know, and then you do another run. So that would be the roguelike element. Whereas the combat itself is, I, I think, going to be like two dimensional, two D ability-based, turn-based RPG combat. Again, 100% speculation. I haven't seen it. I don't know. That's just context clues. It's just context clues. MC 1035. Molten Core 1035. Mick 1035. I don't know what this means. You guys have very mysterious... <laughs> you guys have very mysterious cheers today. MC 1035. Um... 
I, I don't think they will incorporate cards into the gameplay, Kirsten Lopez. I think it will be like abilities. I think you'll have a hero and you'll select like one of three abilities. Now, they might be visualized as like discover or something on screen, but they, I don't think there'll be cards or there'll be a deck. If that, I, I keep doing this because everything is speculation. I want to be clear. I'm just I'm just guessing. I don't know. But if there are cards, you know, they will be more like just visual representations of abilities is my guess. So you like click Rokara. Right. And then Rokara will pop up three abilities and then you'll pick one of the abilities for Rokara or something is what I would guess. Hey, Pyro, dude, what's up, man? All right. Duels time. Lunch break with Regis. Sounds like a movie or something. Uh, we hit, hated Paladin. Oh, by the way, guys, I reported the bug we encountered with Paladin previously to Blizzard. How the hero power wasn't getting upgraded. And Blizzard told me that they are aware of it and it will be fixed in a later patch. So, there you go. Uh, somebody, by the way, earlier said thanks for... Oh, oh, it was Dethreek. Dethreek gay. Uh, thanks for the kind words. Yeah, appreciate it to 3K. Yeah, Chris Lump is true. Yeah, Bellagrounds does have cards in a way. Like, you have minion objects, but they still have cards in hand. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, it could very well be, like I said, that the cards are, you know, the, like, abilities. That would, that would certainly track. They look like cards. Maybe even they come to hand or something. Yeah, I think I am going to play Rogue, actually. Uh, Zonza, I would just say play a good deck and really study your mulligans. Study them mulligans, dude. Make sure you're mulliganing per matchup, not just generally for curve. That's I think that's where most people mess up. Uh, also, I when I first read that, Zonza, I thought you said hoping to get my girlfriend a diamond. You wrote, helping my girlfriend get past Diamond 5. I thought it said, hoping to get my girlfriend a diamond. I was going to say, congratulations. <laughs> Congrats on the engagement, man. <laughs> um, all right, Rogue. What are we going to do? We talked about um, the getting that one crazy hero power in Rogue with the one-cost minions, right? I kind of want to do, like, cheap Battle Cry cycle Rogue. Uh Right, we decided to, we tried this before. I like the turtle shell. I think it's just the best uh, tempo card. I kind of want to build a really a, a neutral minion rogue, neutral battle cry minions in particular, to give us like a couple angles, so we can get the neutral card thingy. That's awesome. Oh, we tried to do quest rogue before, and I hated it. I didn't like the quest rogue angle, but I do like the neutral cheap battle cry angle. Because I can get the thing that buffs neutral cards. I can get... Uh, I can get Battle Cry Cycles. I can get Double Battle Cries. I can get uh, so many other things, right? So I think this is, I think this is what I want to do. Just a bunch of neutral cards, basically. Probably don't want to go too high in curve either. Um, but I'll decide about that yet. I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot this card existed. The Fungal Enchanter. Wow, I love it. I forgot it existed. Wow, that's a cool card. I actually like Ooze and Duels okay. Mancrick sort of perfect for us. Just like a tempo-y solid minion, right? We like that. We kind of like maybe Zola or Stonehill. Oh, actually, we like Scorpid a lot. Discover is also good for us. Hey, Roth, dude, thanks to the eight-month sub. Wow, Roth, we're still rocking a huge sub count, so thank you. It's been a crazy, crazy week for subs. Uh, are you? Oh, are you planning on going to BlizzCon? Honestly, I don't know. I, I've, i like, for whatever reason, just sort of... Uh, because that gets worse. I, I think traveling, and I do have to actually travel next week, but that's uh, for a wedding, but... I like traveling for for Hearthstone stuff. I don't know, man. I just kind of want to like stay home. 
<laughs> I just like staying home too much, I think. Oh, I want neutral minions. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not ruling it out. Like, it, it's, it's possible, you know, the right opportunity or some reason existed. But I, I think I'd rather just, like, make videos from home and be at home and not have to travel a ton. Uh, it, it, you know, th obviously there's a lot of craziness at Blizzard and that has not helped that sort of feeling, but I was already thinking that, like, I just, I don't know. I was like relieved almost when the last Blizzard got canceled because the BlizzCon got canceled because that's just like such a headache to go and it's fun. Like, don't get me wrong. It's awesome, but it's also stressful and a lot of work and a lot of like socializing that can be a, a uh, struggle for me sometimes believe it or not in person i don't like socializing as much what type of neutrals are we looking for i think just n battle cry neutrals but i can run other neutrals too it doesn't have to be specifically battle cries uh but i i wanted battle cries to have the backup plan for um rally the troops and stuff but what other good just like good cards we can run rogue cards too we don't have to like totally ignore rogue cards or anything just wanted to get a good chunk here, a good start, basically. And then go from there. Uh, I do like Stone Hill, actually. Okay, that's a pretty good idea. Let's do Stone Hill. I looked at it, and then I didn't take it for some reason, but I do like it. Let's do Stone Hill. And then, uh, what are other good, just rogue cards that we need to run? Just really high quality cards. Like, Jandis is usually good, although currently my curve is not exactly pointing towards a Jandis. Ivory might be okay, sort of thing. <laughs> Millhouse. <laughs> uh... Oh, I haven't done Quest Rogue yet. That actually sounds kind of cool, too, but maybe not here. I, I don't hate, like, Falderai. Probably not good enough, though. Socializing and moving out of your comfort zone is healthy. I, I don't think that's just something that's inherently true, but uh, it's not that I don't want to socialize. I just don't want to socialize with 40,000 people where I have to work at the same time. There is a there is a uh, spectrum there you're not quite acknowledging. <laughs> Hanging out with two or three friends sounds great. Uh, going to deal with 40,000 people who want autographs and to take pictures and hugs and uh, and uh, and I have to make videos and I have to stay up for 28 hours or something straight. That's a little different story. <laughs> Uh, Lotheb, Thorison, and Reno. I do like Lotheb. That's a good idea. It kind of fits in the curve gap here, too, which feels good. Mm hmm. Oh my god, I didn't even realize you were memeing about Wild, but Lotheb is actually available. So <laughs> I didn't even acknowledge. I didn't even acknowledge. Do do do. All right. We need four more cards. We're probably thinking about it too much, to be honest, at this stage. We're getting a little too picky, I bet. I just need good cards. What are good cards? I don't know why this seems so hard. Tin Wu, Vanessa. Rogue doesn't really have that many good cards. Field, field contact's a good idea, I guess. Yeah, in case we whiff on the other stuff. Yeah, I like that. A lot of cheap battle cries. Uh, tradable? Okay with that. What tradable card? Rust Rot? We could cut the ooze and go for Rust Rot instead. I actually like that better. Yeah, that's better. Oops, don't want you though. We could actually go Kazakis. The problem is it might break later, but is it worth it just for the first couple games? Can I dodge four drops that reliably, right? 
<laughs> I mean, it's sort of perfect. Uh, is the other Kazakas available? No, just this one, right? Yeah. I don't want that one anyway. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, guys. This might be iffy, man. A little bit nervous. Do do do. Okay. Let's do it. I believe. The coaster man says you're correct. Of course, it's not. Of course, it's rare. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Um, I, I appreciate the sentiment. But the other thing I did get into is I, I have some ongoing health stuff that's just more awkward and annoying and. Not really awkward, I guess. Just annoying and potentially problematic if I travel, so. That was another thing I forgot about. Another big factor for why I don't want to travel so much. Uh, how consistent are four drops in Rogue? I don't know. As far as, like, uh, you mean, like, are we going to draft into them? I'm not sure. I haven't played a lot of Rogue duels, to be honest. All right. We can always open with hero power. Against priests, we really need to race because they're just going to burn us down. So I need to deal damage. I just want to play on curve, I think. We, we kind of built our deck for... Uh, later, right? Like, after our passives hit. Is Meek Mastery, by the way, the one we're looking for? Is that a... That's a second round. Like, a second passive, right? Not a first. I, have things you never I think. You uh, damage, yeah. We just go for damage and try to win this on board via minion pressure. We go man crick, then uh, who knows? Something. Not cold light because we don't want them having cards. Oh, Meek is a first passive. Really? Man, it seems so good. Do -do 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 -do. Good board so far, man. We're connecting in a lot of damage, actually. Our work shields on the maker get into removal. Yeah, void to buff. That's so ridiculous, dude. Just get extra dudes for void. I can't even kill these or beat these. I'm just dead now, right? I, I just can't win. This treasure's too good. It's such an insane treasure. It's like part of the reason, I think. Maybe not part of the reason. It might be the, the main reason uh, the priest is so good. So I can kill one of these, at least five on board. I, I mean, I'm just dead. There's no particular one drop here that, that wins this. I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, this can be the most damage, right? Uh, Five, six. This gives plus three next turn, and then another two. That's five. It's eleven. We'll put them to twelve. So I still don't have lethal. Oh no, that's seven. No, six. Six is twelve. Okay. I, I don't know. Should I still have hit here, actually? 14? Oh, I think I did have 14. Oh, shoot. I'm always dead, so it doesn't matter, right? But... Oh, my God. Tie. Tie. Oh! God, they almost tied! I think I could have killed one and still played for lethal, right? I, had, I, I didn't count the math out right. 6 plus 3 is 9, 11. No, I needed to hit, and I still didn't have it. Oh, my God. Meek Mastery. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, yes! Yes, this is all we needed. Every minion in our deck now, almost. Not not literally every, but most of the minions in our deck are uh, now going to be buffed. Uh, let's just take this, right? Novice is good for us now. This is pretty good, but the Felwing breaks the Kazakis. 
Man, it sure is strong though, right? It sure is strong, dude. Maybe we do still take this. Because who cares about Kazakis, right? Not, I don't really need Kazakis. Oh, Lotha becomes a four anyway, yeah. So, well, does he in deck? We don't know. I don't actually know if... I, I bet the cost updates in hand, unless somebody has seen this interaction already. My guess is that the cost will update in hand and not in deck, and it will stay its original cost in deck. But, I don't know. Regardless, I think I'm going to take this just because I think it's better. Like I said, we don't need Kazaka. Like, who cares? We're just playing off of neutral minions now, right? Everything is buffed and cheap, so... Um... Anyway. Yeah, Kazakis is just a 3-mana 4-4. Four four. It's a good good way to think about it, right? We, we can we can play him as is anyway. Doesn't even matter. Bum, ba, da. Cold Lights and Emerald Goggles. Oh my god. <laughs> can you imagine? You know what also might be good is like Elixir of Vigor? Although I guess that wouldn't really even matter, would it? No. Uh, I think I keep Felwing but toss the others, right? This is a 2-mana 3-4, though. I could always zero power on 1 and play the 1-drop. So, I guess actually I do keep this for curve, right? Uh, there's even a chance this eats the weapon. Oh, that's certainly a much better much better play against mage. They do have that weapon, the, the, the passive treasure thing they have. Does the Kazakas Golem get the discount and buff? It should. It's not like cards in your deck. It's just passively any any minion that exists. So, I, I assume the Kazakas minions are, are neutral. I haven't, I guess, thought about it, really, but... I mean, this is insane. <laughs> this is gonna be free. Oh my god, this is so insane, dude. This is, like, not fair. Oh, true, we can test Kazakis exactly with this scenario. Yes, good point. Uh, if, if he hasn't conceded by then, that is. Because we have the Lothab and not the 4-drop. This is sort of perfect. What a hilarious science moment. Yeah. Science! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. I summoned 12 attack on turn 2. And it's the second game of duels. It's not like we're late in a run here or something, right? It, it's, it's game 2. Game 2. Is Kazakis yellow or not? He's not yellow, so Lotheb is updating cost in deck. Okay, good to know. Really good to know. Uh, do I just play the 4-4 here? I mean, I got, like, a potential uh, mirror entity problem. I think, I think we can just go this route and maybe play the spell, maybe hero power, right? We'll take this for, uh, for damage later. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I understand your frustration, bro. Oh my god. Uh, this is a neutral minion. Let's go. These are as well, probably. Uh, but this is cheaper as well, right? It's going to be a three drop already. And it's going to be a, you know, it's going to scale like crazy. I think it's better than Creepy Curio, right? Because we get the discount on it. Curio, you don't get the discount. Like, yeah, they're buffed, but we also net the discount, so. Uh, these are two pretty solid neutral minions, but I think I need card draw. Or card generation, maybe. <laughs> None of which these really really provide i guess sneaky delinquent kind of provides that um and sophomore sort of maybe sometimes very occasionally provides that right and these are two neutrals i think i like this actually i i don't love head crack just because it seems like it's gonna be such a dead draw is why i don't want to take this one i like neophyte a lot but agent doesn't get the buff or discount this is two out of three for discounts this is only one out of three this is only one out of three 
I like that the Wand Thief generates, but but that's about it. And this technically generates a card. This generates a card. Shade seems like really sneaky. I mean, this also generates cards, sort of. Do I need Broom? We're going to be ahead so often. I, I don't know, guys. I think it's this. This has more meat on the bone. I'm, I'm now going to be worried about running out of stuff. I need card draw and meat. Because we always have hero power to get us through the early game if we need to. So I want the meatiest stuff. I don't love any of the three, for the record. Like, like obviously, I want, like, three Cold Light Oracles bucket. Just so I can play a bunch of really cheap stuff. I don't know if that's that good, because our opponent gets removal, but... Um... We'll see. I've never had Beak Mastery. This is exciting. So is it possible to get the one that summons you the tutus? Is that a second tier passive? Uh, the party up or whatever it's called? I don't obviously know the name. Uh, it's only a three mana three three. Not actually that good yet. Let's Let's get that guy later. These are certainly fine though. Sneaky's a lot of good damage early. If it gets cleared, it's still good. Ooh, the sneaky stuff's coming in big already. Party replacement. Yeah, is that a tier two passive or a tier one? I mean, this is actually just insane. Do we play this or do I coin a button? No, we saved the coin, right? Coin could be good. Just tempo the three, two. Okay, good start. Seven damage on board on turn one. It's not bad. Party replacements tier two. So you're telling me I could get party replacement and meek mastery. That's so nuts. Uh, oh, they have staff of pain. Oh, wow. They're accelerating their own damage as well. Uh oh, <laughs> that might be risky. This game's going to be a, a quick one regardless, I think. Jeez. All right, so we'll go Shade. Regis, have you ever spoken to Zeddy? <laughs> I guess you, you're not a big Zeddy fan. We, we did a whole video on his channel together. Yeah, I've spoken to Zeddy, of course. Spoke to Zeddy two days ago. Uh, Maybe they conceded? I don't know. The BDSM staff, is that what we're calling it? The staff of pain. <laughs> uh, oh, they're back. Okay. That seems very slow in comparison, though. I gotta be honest. Uh, I think we just coined Lothab, right? And this is basically GG. I'm going to go ahead and attack with a 4-4 four because four, who cares? <laughs> it's just like, who cares? I mean, what do they do? This is so ridiculous, dude. The the low theb on 4, the 6-6 six, six low theb on turn 4 is sort of backbreaking. Um. <laughs> yeah, little, uh, little dude. No, don't worry. It's just me, money, man. Oh my god, rally the troops. <laughs> uh, I don't really... I talked about Elixir of Vigor. Uh, but I don't actually think it's good. Rally the troops is just insane. Everything we have is a battle cry. We're going to draw more. They're basically going to be free. I, I mean, half of our deck was battle cries, right? Oh my god. This is why we got the cheap neutral battle cries, right? So now it's just any cheap neutral battle cry is A plus to us. So this is A plus. Firebird's unnecessary, but fine, actually. Uh, it's just it's just crazy. Just crazy. Uh yeah, Lima, little Limam. Yeah, no, no worries. I uh, happy to help, man. I'm. Tr I try to boost small creators all the time. I, 
there's this weird side of me that thinks like, well, Zeddy's not a small creator anymore, but he used to be. Um, when I helped try to boost him more. But, uh, you know, there's part of me that's like, oh, I shouldn't ever help my competition. I'm running a business. But the other part of me is like, ah, oh, screw it. I do fine. We do well. Like, the stream does well. I've been lucky. So just boost people up, you know. I dropped some uh, some helpful graphics for Warshack yesterday, for instance, to make his life a little easier, hopefully. Do those little things that I can. Uh, all right. Let's roll. This deck seems completely insane. It seems so fast and so just, I mean, our opponents are going to need the best removal imaginable to compete with this, right? Because I'm basically going to be drawing like free buffed cards so often, right? Like think about that Firebird I got. Normally a terrible card. If I draw this off of, of uh, Rally the Troops, it's a one mana four, six Wind Fury. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, Raren, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Speaking of folks I've tried to help out, there's a good example. Okay, this is this is a dreamy start. Uh, do we do we ever push for like more expensive stuff? I don't know. This is two battle cries. I think we're all right. Let's just hold this. This is actually a battle cry as well, but I think we're gonna be so far ahead. We don't need to get to get crazy or anything. Alrighty. I think we coin, right? Uh, we'll coin the delinquent. Oh my god, they have Ronins and Rally. Okay. I mean, it's certainly possible that we find opponents who have the same treasure passives as us and we lose, right? I don't think this run is a guaranteed, like, home run. Run is a home run. <laughs> Quest already. Okay. Loath Heaven Hand again is probably very good. I'm thinking it will come in handy about the same time we, uh, you know, build. Oh my god. I just play the 4-4, four four, right? I was going to play the non-battle cry, but it's just a 4-4, four four, right? Like, I have the battle cry. It's fine. We're going to draw more cards. <laughs> it's just so insane. Oh, man. The one mana 4-4. Four four. Chill, Kazakis, dude. Honest Golden, dude. What's up? Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, Raren, happy, dude. Happy to help. I saw you had a really good video the other day, like 13k views or something. I don't know if that's mm, stupendously high for you, but it seemed higher than I remember your numbers being, so I was happy for you. May not. Forgive me if I'm wrong on my math there, but it seemed like a, seemed like a good hit video. My phone is ringing. Don't know why. Okay. You guys DC again on the stream? Did you guys, uh, are you guys here? Are you seeing me? Arsenal's not disconnected or anything. You guys? Am I alive? Huh. My chat is dead. But I think I think we're okay. Stream is good. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I clicked. I just grabbed cards. Forgot I was discovering. All good, all good. Okay, stream is back. All good. We're making progress. Just dropping some frames. Okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that says you're kind of choppy in the video. I thought you, I thought that said you're kind of crappy in the video. I was like, man, yeah, it might be a Twitch thing because my internet looks totally fine. I, I think it, I think it actually, for once, first time ever, might actually be a Twitch thing. Oh my god, they're just racing. Why didn't I freeze face like an idiot? I didn't think it was time to race yet, man. But apparently it is. Taunts are good for that, right? Oh my god, Firebird's so ridiculous. <laughs> Do I take Unstable Ghoul just because it's a playable taunt here? Do I really need it? Like, I, I think I'm just going to win if I play Firebird, right? I think it's fine. 
Uh, actually, what do I have? Eight and six is 14, 16. Quite yet there. Okay. I mean, this is just so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know why Kazakis didn't trigger. Yeah, we, we just did a test. You're right, right? Like, we did a test where Lotheb was the only five drop in deck. And Kazakis didn't work, so we assumed that Lotheb should have was was costing four, like he was updated by Meek Mastery. But if that's true, then all of these four drops in deck should be costing three, and Kazakis should have worked, because Lotheb's are only five. So I don't know either. It it feels like it's uh it's backwards. Oh my god, do we take these are all so good. Oh, oh, Shifty isn't neutral. Oh, you're right. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, this is a rogue card. This isn't discounted. It's an actual four drop. You're right. So we have to have Shifty and Lotheb at hand for Kazakis to work. Okay. Uh, I mean, Grimmer Patron is is a two mana four four that, that just scales like crazy. But Locust, I like because it's burst damage. But I don't know if we're ever going to get to turn seven is the thing. I feel like the deck's winning at like turn two or three, so these just aren't going to be meaningful. I, I think this could be meaningful, right? Because it's getting cheaper, but our minions aren't dying. I, I think I got to take the Grimmer Patron. <laughs> Little Ball of Hate says, you act like you're so great. But the only reason so many people watch the stream is because you're good at the game. I think you meant to leave. I think I think you left out a word there. You act like you aren't so great. I think it's what you meant to say. Well, thanks for the kind words, little ball of hate. I appreciate it. Um, I think locusts are just too expensive, guys. It's it's seven mana. I don't know if we're gonna get that far. I think we want to win before then. I, I, if I were going to take one of these, I would take Book of the Dead over Locust because this gets cheaper and I might actually be able to play it. So. I just think seven mana is so slow. I mean, it is 21 damage. That's, that's, that's cool, right? <sighs> Maybe... So, God, it is 21 damage, but am I ever going to get there? <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to get to seven mana, or if I do, like, it means we probably haven't chipped them down enough, although this is this is actually... 21 damage twice. So that's 42 damage. It is intriguing. Uh, true, we will have minions on board very often. That's fair too. I think I'm gonna take the patron, guys. I don't know. Uh, it's all they're all good options, frankly. Every treasure we've been offered this game has been good. So uh, feel free to discuss more. I, it's it's very very discussable, discussable. Um, I think I like this scoundrels battle cry rust rots. Cheap neutral extortions, not great, but it's tradable. These are also neutral, but I don't really like Gorfiend. He could get stuck in hand where I don't really want to destroy my board because I just have so many stats out. Trapper is not a battle cry, so it's not that helpful. I think I like these better. If I'm taking two neutrals and a, and a rogue card, I, I think I like these particular two neutrals better. We don't need this. Okay. People really wanted locusts, I think. It, which, hey, it's a fair argument. I think all of them had very reasonable arguments. I cannot begrudge any of you for suggesting uh, locusts. Or, or Book of the Dead. It didn't get discussed much, but I think it was pretty good too. Although, I don't know if our minions are dying. So, I, I probably would have leaned towards locusts as the number two pick. I, I think... Patron was like an 8 out of 10, and Locust was like a 7.5 out of 10 for me. 
And it was really just curved consideration. But I think Patron has a real chance to just win me a game outright. Locus, if it does win me a game, it'll be desperate plea late, right? Okay. She's not neutral, so not actually that good. And Darren, we can keep. I don't know. It's been pretty underwhelming, but it's a battle cry, so. I think that's right. We've had like the same opening hand every game. It's weird. Inspiring presence and emerald goggles. Ooh, they could have some big plays here early too. Spooky stuff. Oh, I would have loved to draw the man cook here. Oh god, I keep forget I just keep clicking like an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh do we play this just because I might draw more off of it? No, we can save that for later with cheap battle cries, right? I keep thinking I'm drawing the card first and clicking the card off, and I keep forgetting I'm discovering first, because I'm a moron. That's the only reasonable explanation. Trust me. Grimmer patron for two. Oh my god. Okay, this was what we were hoping for. So I have two 4-4 four, four patrons on turn three. Uh, how do they scale out of whack? Like, do they just go crazy here? Does he have anything cheap enough to kill both? No. Wow. Wow. I actually don't want too much board space occupied here because these are going to make two more copies. Uh... But that's okay. <laughs> Don't have brawl, I guess, really, right? We know that left card's a weapon, so it might be clogging out the emerald goggles options. Um, okay, can get two here, but you're just right back where you started. I have 16 damage on board. Do I have any lethals here? I don't think we're gonna have any lethals. So I just wanna go big, probably, but I don't really wanna have to give them a card because it might be something good, right? Let's see if this gets me anything. No, not, not very interesting, right? Uh, so this will fill up the board. Maybe I play a taunt to stop a rush minion. Okay. So bad, dude. We're just forcing people to concede. Oh man, this is brutal, dude. This is such a ridiculous. Uh, do we go Murloc Holmes? Two mana Murloc Holmes. Not not really that good. I kind of like loyal sidekick again, right? Like this is already getting bigger. We already got one. These are three mana. At this stage, they're what three mana? Uh, what are we at? I don't know what wins we're at. Four or something? Three mana, six sixes, seven sevens because of our buff. Three mana, seven, seven taunts already. What do you guys like? Murloc Holmes better or Sidekick? I think Murloc's too sneaky. We don't really need cards, right? We need stuff. Let's go Sidekick. Hey, Murloc Holmes is in chat. Oh my god. Hello. Um... Actually, yeah, I, I think I'm cool with the bananas, man. Uh, I don't really need the nanners, but they're just neutral battle cries, which is what we're looking for. And I think that's that's good. Weirdly enough. I don't think if our opponent's spending mana on bananas, we're upset, right? Like, for giving them bananas? Who cares? Like, spend your one mana on bananas. I'm going to be playing... Uh, you know, one mana, five fives and stuff. <laughs> like, who cares? <sighs> Loved the most underrated, overrated videos. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I do too. I like the tone on those. It's really fun to make fun of ourselves and goof off a little bit. It's a nice feel, nice tone. All right. I swear to God, every time you grab a card it's immediately in your bucket you know so we can coin man creek on two or on one um 
play it alongside a Mermy. Then the Felwing on two will probably be available, and then I can also Mookla on two. I think I like this pretty well. Mancrit could also find me a decent uh, a decent play if he gets a, a cheap card like a Neophyte or something, Pandaren, Sneaky, whatever, right? Something good. Or I guess three drops even are better. Rust Rots, Shades, Stone Hills, something. They have all together now and Emerald Goggles. Okay, it's pretty high tempo. There's a, there's a chance. Mukla on one. Actually, you're not wrong. Maybe I do just Mukla on one. It's even bigger than Mancrick. I don't need the Mancrick card. Sure. Let's do it. Once you get a buff with bananas on one. Yeah, you're right. Mukla on one. Forget Mancrick. Mukla on one. I love it. Turn one Mukla. Do you guys say Mukla or Mukla? Oh my god, that's big. I'm going to need the Mukla on one. I mean, the bananas here are actually going to be useful. I guess they don't really threaten the mermy, though. So, it's fine. Banana vendor as well. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a pretty good turn one, isn't it? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Look at the turn one, dude. How do you beat this? Nonsense. I mean, if he can keep up with this, more power to it, man. He deserves it. He just absolutely deserves the win. He's going face. Okay, I like that, actually. That's a cool call. Kind of make me double trade, right? Sidekick for three. I think I want to actually banana once, though, is the sad thing here. I, I sort of need to banana trade, man. Pretty good. I still get to develop this, right? So it's not like I'm giving up a lot of tempo or anything by trading. Just making sure that doesn't get out of hand or get scary. I mean, I still played 6-8 in stats, despite playing a banana and hero powering. How stupid is that? Oh, man. This is just... I, I didn't... I've never had a duels run that felt this busted. Uh, this is completely unhealthy for the game. This is not even good, and he's conceded. Okay. Uh. Yeah, guys. I. I so some of you are saying you're freezing again. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's on my end. I've never once had a. Or if it is, it's. I don't know. I'm not even showing any dropped frames. I, I think it's Twitch. I, I can't. In other words, I'm sorry, but I don't know how to influence that or or offer any help. Wow. This is actually pretty good, I think. They're not battle cries is my only hesitation, but they're one mana watch posts and they're three fours. These are too slow. This is all rogue cards. I think it's Baron's chat, man. Let's go. Stay out of theater mode, guys. I don't know why I'm looking at chat today on that side, but I am for some reason. Instead of over here where you guys normally are, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me see if Is It Down is showing anything for for Twitch. You guys are saying it does seem to be Twitch. It's not like crazy. Nothing crazy showing on Twitch. Is it like down detector or anything? I don't know. I'm hesitant to think it might be Twitch. Maybe it is me. Or at least the combination of the two of us. Oh, Raffle had a problem too, huh? Okay. Well, that sounds more like it. <sighs> My glasses are dirty. I gotta clean them. Give me a sec. Five wins, and I feel like we've barely been playing. Because we're winning on turn two every time. All right. This is just like the dream combo. <clears throat> Do 
Lillian versus Fireheart. I won't go easy on All right, turn one Mukla again. Do we do? Oh no, we don't have coin. We can't turn one Mukla. No, we need to actually find a playable option. Hopefully, uh, turn two Mukla is pretty good though. Bananas is a little scary against Shaman, but maybe they have Murloc stuff. That can be scary. I know that's that's one of the other best things I've ever played against. Shard hero power is at least a way to fill our mana, so that's fine. Shard is great too because it might draw me a card to play. So I should do this before I hero power, because if I hit a uh, like a four drop, I could still play a four drop. I could play like a one mana Firebird off the shard, right? Which would be very nice. <laughs> so. Meek Mastery Rally the Troops versus All Together Now and Battle Totem. Okay, so they still have some scary stuff happening. Ooh, we could probably just do that, but let's go ahead and see, right? Like I said, oh my god. Neophyte into Lotheb? <laughs> do I even Lotheb yet, right? Like, it's not really worth it yet, probably, is it? Because they may just play minions anyway. I think I would have saved the Lotheb for when I have a slightly larger... Slightly larger... Um, turn, right? <gasps> oh my god, okay. Chain lightning is best played around over here, because if they hit this, it's a 50-50 to snipe this. If I put it over here, it's a better minion to hit for the chain lightning. Although, no, it's not, because chain lightning only does two right now, not three. Shoot. Scratch that. Okay, he lives, he lives. Good stuff. Uh, is this a Lotheb? Trade Lotheb. Hit for eight. Let's see what Lotheb gets me, I guess. It's a six six. I like it. Scorpion's really good too. So I want to save the Scorpion for the next round or just to go now. No, I just go now, right? Potion of Illusion? They'll all cost zero and be... <gasps> Do I unsheath this thing? I think so. Let's just go. Should be fine. We Lotheb, right? So it should be fine. I mean, I'm hoping this is just game over. Lotheb sealing the deal here, right? Like, we have so much damage. What do we have? 12 and 9 is... 21 and 5 is hopefully enough. 26? I didn't see what his health is at, but it feels like enough. Grimmer Patron, okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. The Lotham is so ridiculous, because even if they have a board clear, what can they do? You just can't do anything. You're just stuck. Uh, loyal Sidekick number 3. Yeah, right? It's the third one. We have two already. They're actually really big at this stage. Yeah, we have two. Uh, <laughs> Party portal, I just don't have enough spells, right? It's actually not bad. It's it's a one mana one five, but uh, it's just sidekick number three. It's just too funny. Uh, no, no, no. No more, please. <laughs> we have so many sidekicks. What are they at now? We're at six wins, so they're like nine nines, I think. Six plus the two two base and then the one one for the meek. So they're they're three mana nine nine taunts now. It's not even that good is what's crazy. I don't even think that's as good as our normal deck. Like normal cards might actually be better. Prince Tyler Noel, dude, thanks for the tier one sub. That's so nice, man. Appreciate that. Uh Is this really working? I think it's fine. Hope you like the new prediction. Let's see. Will the opponent concede before five mana? <laughs> yes, they will. I've, I I love that it's... Wait, what were the vote counts? Hold up, hold up. What were the actual vote counts? Uh, <laughs> most people are saying yes. I don't know if this is bugged or not. I never know. Is there any way to know? Most people are saying they will concede before five mana. Unbelievable. <laughs> ah, boy. 
What a deck, dude. What a deck. <laughs> All right, Hunter again. Usually a slower deck, so hopefully we get out quick. Uh, Mancrick's pretty good. Let's keep Mancrick. We can only see her power in one, but I definitely want to hit a, a better one drop if I can. Shard might find me a play uh, off of uh, Rally, so that's good. Janice is slow for us. Really, really slow. Wow, double maid secret. That's good. That's the two highest value, right? So let's see if we can't hit a uh, playable thing here. Oh, thank God it's not mere entity and we already tested for it because I'd be really scared to play this one mana nine nine. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. This is so broken. <laughs> oh, man. That chill. <laughs> One mana nine nine, dude. All right, I actually have to test for uh, vaporize here, right? I, I think. I don't know what's actually in the pool or not, but seemingly anyway, I have to test for vaporize. All right, shade again early is pretty sweet. What am I looking at here? Ice block maybe? Does ice block doesn't? It, ice block can't be it. It's got to be counter spell probably, or like one of the yeah spell based ones. It's probably one of the spell based ones which I don't need to interact with at all. So we should be fine on that front. Do I go buffoon or do I just develop the firebird like? What what uh what would it hurt to develop the Firebird? You don't see a problem here? I see a major problem here. This is ridiculous. I'm not I'm enjoying this, but I'm not defending it. It's absurd. This should not exist. I thought that was abundantly clear. I think I just tip on the Firebird, right? Like, who cares? I mean, it's Hunter for three mana, right? Like, I don't know what he's going to do for three mana. He he played a devouring ectoplasm. He coined a devouring ectoplasm. I'm dead. He played a I I coined a turn one nine nine and he coined a single devouring ectoplasm. <laughs> he just he just coined an ectoplasm like it was no big deal. Just yeah, this is my play, bro. Deal with it. Oh my god. Hey, by the way, prediction he conceded on turn two. <laughs> Strong play and constructed our stone standard. Like, yeah, coin devouring. Oh, well, a lot of tempo, man. Crazy. Oh, we could lose this, right? Priest could definitely race us down. This could be a loss. Oh, I like watch post, though. That's handy on turn one. Ooh. Sidekick's actually too expensive, though, right? I don't really want to pay three for this. Um. Yeah, we, we can do better, believe it or not. I want I want battle cries in particular. I'm keeping this, which is not a battle cry, so I want cheap battle cries to make sure I play off rally the troops as well, not just meek mastery, right? Ooh, they got party replacement. That's that's gonna maybe help them keep up a little bit. Ooh, particularly with that. Oh my god. Actual tempo plays. Okay. I can't play fire watch post into the poison, I don't think. Or at least I, I can, of course. I don't really want to, I should say. Let's just develop some tempo, kind of push through this stuff, and then we'll maybe have a stickier far watch post. Party replacement's scary. Like, it's already keeping up fairly well. Look at this. It's kind of spooky. Just tempo, tempo, tempo. Oh, 
Hopefully this still lives, right? I'm kind of taking a bit of a gamble, but... Okay. Um, big board. A lot of stuff. Something may we planned here, it looks like. Spirit Lash. All right. Pretty sweet. Kazakis? Help me find Olgra. Uh, I guess I put in Man Creek again, or do I want to deal the damage? I'm like a little bit worried about my own health, so. Knife Fender is like kind of spooky. Maybe I wait a turn and just play a delinquent, right? Should be good. Maybe use this for burst later. Just chill. Tenwu can activate my uh, rally next turn, I guess. Party portal. Shadow word void. Ew. No board space, at least, really. Still scary, though. Uh, boy. Thank God those aren't totems, huh? Yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't really want to. I don't really want to use the knife vendor yet. Like, let's just wait a minute, right? Because, ugh. Clumsy me. I don't know. Kind of nervous. Maybe I just go neophyte and bounce it. Like, shut down their next turn, basically. Come, friend. Let's see what you've got. Then I can trade off these little guys, or maybe just race, right? Maybe I just race. I don't know. I'm almost out of time. I shouldn't really need to conceal here, right? Since I'm locking out so much mana. Oh, rush? Oh, no, that's cell. Not rush. Okay. Like, they surely can't really do anything, can they? Oh, wow, they can. Jeez, it's a race, bro. How much damage do I have? Oh, my God. How much damage do I have? Uh, 12, 18, 20, 22. Ugh. Gross. I gotta kill these, I think, guys. Or at least some of them? Maybe I have to kill all of them. I can't trade in is the problem right now, though. I'm just stuck. Okay. I mean, we'll see, right? I don't know. That's enough for lethal, right? Prevents any minion trades from hitting. 10. 15. Uh, oh, actually, is it enough? I think I might only have 23. What did I say? Ten, 7, 13, 15, and 7 is only 22. The 3-3 three, three can't attack. Oh, no, guys. I am actually not there yet. Shoot. 10, 13, 15, and 7 is 22. Archer's 23, but I can't trade it in. I mean, I've traded something in to get the archer. 25 on board? Yeah, but this can't attack. I need I need board space here actually. I I could be dead next turn, honestly. I could very much be dead next turn. And this doesn't really help. Well, I should hit this first look for healing, actually. There's some healing maybe. Uh, yeah, I could be dead. I mean, I don't know. I put them low enough that, like, Embrace into Desperate is uh, lethal on themselves as well. 
which is hopefully enough, but a board clear here is annoying. This is certainly not over. Man. Uh, that's really expensive. That's surely not enough, right? Like, you only got one mana left? No. Okay, that was scary, dude. That was scary. I don't... That game was too close. Even with that crazy Neophyte turn, they did a good job holding on there. I don't... I don't think this is right, right? I mean, it's a two mana seven seven taunt, which is pretty cool. But the legendary random legendaries can be not neutral, right? There's a lot of and they're expensive. I don't actually think this is very good. I, th I think I would rather have cheap neutral buffed cards, right? I mean, it, it, it instantly draws me one fresh card, so I can maybe keep a chain going, right? Like, it hits me a battle cry, my hero power hits me a battle cry, we hit the deck and, and keep it going, and maybe it's okay if this hits bad stuff in hand. But, oh my god, JK Jace with 5,000 bits. Is that, I didn't even hear that. Why don't I hear my alerts? Whoa. There he goes. Oh my god, 5,000 bits, dude. Wow, JKJs, thank you so much. Unbelievable. Sorry I didn't hear that right away. My my thing was turned too quiet. Uh, that that particular cheer alert, I think, is quieter because of the Finja action. That's that's insane. I guess I take Kobold because I think this is just too expensive, and I don't think I need this. It's just a mana that I don't really want to have to be spending. I'd rather play cheap minions and make them trade, right? So... I, I guess it's Kobold. I, I don't think it's perfect, though. I actually am kind of scared to hit it early, I think. Oh, boy. I don't want these. Basilisk is cheap, but these suck. These really suck. I, I think I'm going to take these because they're the cheapest cards and have a little bit of utility, at least. I don't even know what prep is doing, though. I don't have hardly anything for prep. I guess some discovers and stuff. Cloak is kind of sneaky, maybe. This, not a good bucket, though. I really don't want to draw those. Terrible buckets. Stop trying to give me good cards. Give me the bad, junky, neutral cards. I'm going to feel bad if I have to play Kobold early. The 2-mana 7-7 seven, seven upside is not high enough for, like, the other cards in my deck, right? Everything's buffed and huge. Alrighty. Seven wins, just like that. Quick, easy seven wins. It's already starting to get a little harder, though. You can kind of tell other people are doing stuff, right? Like, that last opponent got off to a pretty good turn one, for instance. They played a couple threats. Part of your placement was actually chipping away at my minions quite a bit. So I'm sure we'll run into some decks that uh, that give us a, a challenge at least. Uh, thanks again, though. Insane 5,000 bits, JKJs. I don't know what you had last week, but it was a lot, and now you're already at the top of the leaderboard again. So thank you. You're like a silent assassin. I don't I don't see any messages. Just big bit bombs. <laughs> but thank you. Do, do, do. Yeah, for anyone not understanding why I don't like Kobold that much, it's because it, it turns my hand into random luxuries, which can be class cards, which which may not be discounted and stuff, right? So it's kind of a downside. Okay, we like this. Lotheb early, Stonehill early is good. It gives me at least a guaranteed play. Hopefully I'll hit you know some zero mana or one mana stuff here. It's a little better. Eh, not great. Kobold Oracle is like fine, but it... Gives my opponent too many choices. And Field Contact is just a card we don't need anymore. If we'd known we were going to get Rally of the Troops, we never would have taken Field Contact, right? Totally overkill. 
So, uh, I guess I'll coin Stonehill here and instead of hitting button, it's just more likely to hit something good off, off Rally's discount, right? So they have Rally and all together now. I'm betting they're like pirates. It's pretty good. They don't have the natural buffs and stuff that we do, though, so hopefully we can still outstat them fine. Uh, hit me a cheap card. Uh, okay, turn one Mukla we like better than turn one Stonehill. And we like the Rust Rod Viper with it. We we take the 4-5 over the weapon removal, right? <laughs> we we don't need to remove a weapon if we have a 4-5 on board. He's going to have to hit the 4-5. So, it's perfect. It's casual 10-11 in stats on turn one. No big deal. Enjoy your bananas, sir. Hope you have a good time with those nanners. Do you, do you button this? I guess you maybe should, right? Why not? It doesn't really do much, but it also doesn't maybe hurt. I guess it's better maybe to trade later, huh? Um, Pack Mule's pretty sweet, actually, yeah. Oh, it doesn't count as being drawn, though. It's discovered. I forgot. It's not that sweet. I take it back. It sucks. It's dead. It's garbage. Get rid of it. I don't know what else I had. What was there? An Ozruck or something? Oh, and an Amalgam. Amalgam? Nah, I'd rather have Pack Mule than Amalgam, so. That's fine. Janus for four is nuts. Okay. Two five is kind of awkward, isn't it? Probably not worth a Tortolan, though. This is such a good removal card later. Oh, Rust Rot. All right, deal. Yeah, we'll play this turn straight up. No battle. Oh, this is a battle cry. What am I saying? I said no battle cry. Oh my god. What do you do against this insanity? They can have Brawl, I guess, you know? The one mana 11 11 on turn three. Brawl's four mana, though. He doesn't have Brawl yet. Cthune's Chosen. Into Mutating Injection. Okay, that's actually pretty good. The one mana mutating there is nuts. But I can just Tortolan and hit, so... It is sadly not enough. That was lethal, right? I didn't actually count. It just seemed like so much. It was barely enough. I didn't check, it just seemed like enough. <laughs> it was. If only barely. Uh, Jasmine really with 36 months. Oh my god, three years is crazy. Actually insane. Yeah, we don't need this. Welcome back, three years, sir. Immortal Spork had 17 months. Oh, and Corey Hutch had 500 bits. Oh my god, I'm not hearing alerts today. I don't know why. I think I'm just too in the zone on these games. But thank you, Corey Hutch. Thank you, Jasmoralia. Thank you, Immortal Spork. Big time stuff. Is this what Wild is like? I don't think even Wild is this wild. I think it's... Uh, I think we've gone to a new level here. This is just about the most broken thing I think you can do in duels. I, I think maybe there's better options with Murlocs, but I don't know if Murlocs have the battle cry consistency. Like, the, the Meek Mastery... How many neutral battle card Murlocs are there? I guess there's quite a few, but do they have to mix in too many class cards, I wonder? That would be my question. Uh, I think we always keep Lothab and uh, Mancrick's fine on one if we don't hit a better play. Or both. Ah, see, this is that sticky kobold where I don't want to, right? Like, I want these cards. Well, I don't really want Jandis, but... You know. They got Rally the Troops and Open the Doorways. That seems pretty slow. Rally the Troops does not seem good in Priest. Based on how Priest is typically played. I mean, if I knew this was going to turn into a bunch of Lothabs, I'd be cool with it. But I don't think it will. That's not the good watch post against Priest, but I'll take it. If they want to play any minions for the Rally the Troops, they're going to start giving me 2-2s, two which are actually 3-3s. Three so, it should be fine. I mean, I could Kobold on two here. It's not crazy. I'd lose the Lothab's the only thing. I feel like Lothab is better than Kobold. I, th I think I want to play Lothab before I play Kobold, basically. Oh, yeah, I get the 3-3. Three, three. Nice. I think we'll just button if this isn't playable and... Ah, no, screw it. I don't care. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, right? How bad could it go? It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. How bad could it get? Oh, that's a good draw. That's that's like, oh, I got transformed. It's not a good draw. Oh, man. 
I didn't know it was gonna get transformed. I thought it was gonna be a, uh, it was the perfect draw because it was a, uh, by the way, we got all neutral cards. That's insane. They're expensive, but they're all neutral at least. Wow, Fangs on the, on the Morshawn, not on the Kobold. Now that I find remarkable. I mean, this is really not very good. I think I'd rather hero power watch post, right? For sure. It's much better. Uh, I don't I don't hate Hogger. He's going to summon three threes, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I think I'll still probably try to play off the top more, but this is kind of what we thought, right? Like, these are just expensive now. Hopefully this is disruptive at least. Holy Nova is very slow. The competition is 14 damage. Bananas we like. It can take a Holy Nova or just take damage. I think we take damage. Actually, we take one more minion, right? It's insane. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to Vanessa this. Um, I don't need a Holy Nova. There might be something insane, right? So she's zero mana. We can play her whatever as long as we combo first. But hero power always gives us so. Okay, they've got two bananas, some other unknown expensive card, expensive card, and a bunch of garbage over here we don't know about. And I have like a million minions. Yag, we need more bananas, man. <laughs> Yogg's going to have to eat a lot of bananas to go off. <laughs> he needs his banana fuel. I like that they had to two mana holy smite that. I mean, like, are they really going to be able to live on board here? Like, don't you have to take damage out if you can? Like, buffing this, by the way, huge deal, it turns out. I mean, in this game, the Kobold was worth it, right? If, if, if he sticks around and does this much damage, right? It, it's totally fine. Totally worth it. Be quick. Kobold order seemed wrong, by the way, for Cold Light getting transformed. Isn't it draw and discount after you play a battle cry? After you play your first battle cry on your turn, draw a card. Yeah, I think you're right. It does seem wrong. Oh, they healed. Oh, how much do I have? Seven and eights. Uh, 15 and 5 is 20. Am I really not? Oh, I have banana though. Cool. Bananas for the win. Golden kobolds love bananas. Yeah, it does say after. Yeah, I think you're right. It should it shouldn't proc until after the battle cry is fully resolved. Is my my thoughts. Yog needs his potassium. Give Yog potassium. <coughs> Give me potassium and I'll set your mind free. <laughs> uh, that's what he was farming in Northrend, though, just potassium. Should have went to Stranglethorn. Uh, Do we take Death Charger? It's a zero mana, three, four with charge. I kind of like it. I don't really like the Kobold that much. Again, like I said before, I don't really think, I think Death Charger is just better here. I think the damage downside on this is not significant anymore. These are neutrals, but they're not battle cries, right? We want battle cry consistency. I don't need two Kobolds and three sidekicks. This is like the, the, the two treasure bros deck. Don't forget it. Put it on and go to sleep with four butter injection slots and the handy strap to keep your hair buttered all night long. That's all true. It's the Butter Helmet 2.0, now with extra canola oil filter. <laughs> 2.0. I can't wait till we get to Butter Helmet uh, 10. Duels, find me an opponent. I know nobody's deck can keep up here, but come on now. 
Oh, hey, hype train done, guys. Thank you. Did we get, uh... I guess we finished level one off that insane 5,000 bits earlier, huh? <laughs> what do we do? Do we reset the queue? What would you do for a brand new queue? <laughs> I need more duels, opponents. Duels, opponents. I think duels has gotten more popular recently, by the way. I hear a lot of people talking about it now, and I used to never hear it. I don't I don't think that's just um, awareness on my part either, looking for it. I, I think it's just more people playing and talking about it. Lillian versus Willow. You're in far over your head. Okay, Mukla on one. We like one on. We like Mukla one. We know that. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, I don't think Warlock will really punish that too much. They do have minions, maybe, but still shouldn't shouldn't be a huge punish. Otherwise, I think we look for higher quality plays, right? Banana's not terrible necessarily on two to follow the Mukla on one, but we have so many other stronger plays, like the three mana thirteen thirteen loyal sidekick, for instance. Actually, not that strong, to be honest. We may have to hero power on two here to get by. I think I'm definitely mukling on one, so. It's so insane. <laughs> it's so crazy. Do I ever play this on two? I don't think so, right? I think I still mukla to play off uh, Rally, because Rally could get me another giant minion to play immediately, which is worth as much or more than this, right? And it's a turn earlier, so. Uh, everybody has Rally, man. Rally's, like, been nerfed and it's still so good has it been nerfed twice even maybe man oh my god another one this is gonna be fun two turns in a row Ooh, i like that i like that against warlock okay play some minions i dare you they can summon minions as well but usually they play minions to summon minions so i'm gonna have to hear power on two it looks like unless sap is just better it's a chance sap makes sense Sap's pretty good against Scorpid, weirdly. Mm. No, I just traded in a 3-3. Never mind. That's fine. I need to hit uh, what here off the top? I need to hit Mancrick. Or Patron. We haven't seen Patron in a while. Grimmer Patron would be sick. Try double quest mage in duels. If you get the right passives, it's too stupid that it's great. Double quest mage in duels. That sounds hilarious. Uh, I can't go Kobold, guys. These are too good. There's no way I go Cobalt here. Do I sap is the question. I don't think we sap either. We'll find a good play. That ain't a good play. Ugh. See, I hate the Cobalt, man. This hand is ridiculous, though. Look at this. Two loyal sidekicks and a Cobalt. Uh. I, I don't love playing just the sidekick because I don't get the rally proc, you know? Like, that kind of sucks. I would love to hit a zero mana battle cry here. Glacial Shard? Glacial Shard would be the ultimate play here. Mermaid's not bad. It at least lets me, like, fill in a little bit on this. Still not activating the battle cry, but I think I'm big enough. <laughs> Absurd, dude. <laughs> oh god, I feel so bad, dude. I feel so bad. It's so insane. It's so insane. We don't need these. Okay. Wow, man. Hey, hat trick, dude. Wow, thanks for the 94 person raid. Amazing. Appreciate it. Big time raid. You guys are about to watch a 12 win game here. Whether we win or lose, we got two two tries here to hit 12, so feeling good. Mukla again, dude. The turn one Mukla's are doing work. Is it, do I have coin or not, though, is the question, right? Did I get coin? No. Oh, I do have coin. Oh, my God. Turn one Mukla coin with Death Charger. Scorp it on two, I like. I don't need shade, I don't think. I want to play faster than that. Extortion might not be bad, actually, just to flex into a... Clear a, a imp or something, right? That's pretty cool. Okay. 
I guess I could use Charger to trade as well. I don't need to go face. So that's fun. They have together now and troops. Man, troops is in every deck we've faced like the last five games, I feel like. It's got to be too good, right? It's got to be. Oh my god, prep actually may be useful. I have Venomous Scorpion and uh, the other thing. Kind of crazy. Oh my god, this is so busted, dude. <laughs> Casual 13 damage on turn one on board. <laughs> insane just a single void terror okay we can live with that oh no lucky soul too okay that's a good turn and hit for 13 rust rot let's go for the prep play here right uh oh prep betrayal it's not amazing it's not bad though. It's better than Nitro Boost, right? I guess it's still pretty good. Kills this, sets up better trades, right? Question is, do I take those trades or not? I think we might as well. We're quite ahead on board. I don't know what they have to leverage, but let's just be careful, right? Uh, this is nice. I'm getting their cards expensive. Uh, my hand's a little light, but Hero Power and Rust Rot can hopefully fix that. Rust Rot draws, Rust Rot draws, so, and Hero Power can draw, or just generate dude. Uh, Scholar. Okay. That was increased by cost, but also de decreased. You can just trade here, hit for six again. Still playable, okay. And Darren's really nice. I have things you never knew you wanted. Shadow Step. Yeah, we'll take a Shadow Step, right? That's fine. This turn's kind of weak, though, again. I don't, I don't know, man. This turn's kind of weak. I don't know. I mean, it's not, right? I developed an additional six. I cleared a minion. I protected, you know, my Mookla. It's not it's not a bad turn, but it's, it's not the, like, super exciting turn we're looking for, I don't think. Uh, we'll Shadow Step the Pandaren if I don't hit a Battle Cry off the top. We'll see. This game, we definitely haven't popped off as much as uh, some, you know? This game's been definitely more... Uh, they've, they've kept up a little better. Their own rally has been pretty good for them. Gotta say, that seems like a fairly weak turn, though. Give me a good battle cry off the top. Give me a banana buffoon. That's fine, sure. Cheap, and I can use the nanners, so... South Sea's big. Let's see what that gets us. For me, for you. Uh, let's let's make them give us a, a thing, right? Theirs is more expensive as well, so. This dumps the Shadow Step, which I don't really want. Let's heal here and then play this. It's just so big, I want to get it on board, right? Uh, well, this has a chance of getting discarded, right? So it doesn't really... Cold Blood's actually really good, though. Maybe I wait, because Cold Blood's so good. I can't give them Cold Blood, guys. It might give them a game winner. I, I just... There's no reason to. I don't want it for sure. Yeah, we can lose whatever this is. We keep the Cold Blood. It's two mana, so... Oh, okay, cool. I don't think they have any great board clears. I may be overcommitting a little, but I don't know. We can reload pretty well. And I certainly put in like game ending pressure here if I if they don't have uh, a clear. We got rid of their school spirits, I know. That's really slow. 
Uh, that's not buffed. What do we have? 14 and 4. 18 and 4. Uh, I think I'm like one or two off lethal, right? Oh, man. Can I find it here, maybe? No, that doesn't leave me any mana for cold blood. 4. That's 8. 14. 4 is 18. And 4 is 22, 23. I'm one off lethal, man. Problem is, I don't have direct damage in this deck. So I can't... Oh! Oh! Uh... Can I corrupt that? And I can't play it this turn, though. No! No! Those were priceless. Fine, we'll just chill. We're setting up for next turn. It's all good. I can't, like, button for a minion, guys, because my board was full, right? Oh, no, it wasn't full. I guess I played the 6-6. Six, six. I guess I could have tried. That seems very unlikely, though, when we could just make good plays, right, and just chill. Like, we're not in a hurry to win it this turn, necessarily. Just make the better play and win it next turn, right? All right. Drain soul for three ain't going to keep you alive here. Wow, we did it. We did it! We did it! The one mana 15 15, we can watch him get buffed! <laughs> that is unreal! Wow! This was the most broken thing I've ever done in Hearthstone, and it wasn't even close. Oh my god. We only lost that first game early, man. Almost the perfect run. Do, do. What did we get? Big gold, baby. Two packs. Nice. Very cool. What was that? A was that an Outland pack? I don't know what that pack was. What 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 pack did that indicate? Is that what the Outland packs look like? I don't know. I can't remember what pack this is, dude. Is this Outland? Yeah. Okay. It's Outland packs. All right, and storm winds. Okay, cool, good stuff. Uh, okay, that was great. What a way to start the stream! We just absolutely cruised. To the rogue victory, one game off from this garbage. No boar yet? Come on, really? Uh, Twitch keeps screwing up, guys. I'm thinking about dropping off. Uh, I may just go because Twitch is screwing up so much. I don't know what to do about that. And I kind of, I might just hop off. Would you guys be mad if I hopped off? Just come back tomorrow. Because I need to go finish a duels video. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Which region am I? Uh, I'm in a. Let me let me take a pee break. Maybe we'll play a little constructed. Let me just take a quick thirty seconds. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll, we'll play at least a little constructed. But give me a give me a sec. Alrighty. What are we gonna play? I'm only gonna chill for another like thirty minutes, guys, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, so I can go edit videos. But uh, we'll figure something out. We'll build the deck real quick. Actually, do I want to build the deck or just play a deck? Uh, let's build the deck real quick. I've been wanting to uh, build a, a taunt deck with... Uh, we got encumbered... Mule in uh Welcome boys make some room by the heart in this expansion and we got Stormwind Guard. 
And we've done this thing before where we've built these aggro taunt warriors. Almost more like a, I guess, almost like a hand buff, you'd almost call it. But, uh... I kind of want to try this again. It's It's been a while since we've gone back to this, but basically taunt, but like aggressive, if that makes sense. Which it probably doesn't, but that's all right. But we got some new taunt stuff in the core package too, since I've done this, I feel like, or maybe not, but. So, you know, something that looks like this as a core. Hey, UFO Ricks, dude, thanks for the tier one sub. It's awfully nice. Where do we go with this though? We could run like a variant. He's the right kind of card for this deck. We have rush minions, not yet, but we have plenty of taunt. We can probably get some divine shield. Oh, we have divine shield, the Noyotron. Okay. We can run a Talon too in that case. And then I'm sure there's some rush stuff we're happy to run. Gotta be, right? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Rokar is a pretty good aggro follow-up card. Any other taunt rush cards? Fuel the two together. Samuro might be decent for us just because we have... Um... Wait, why don't I have that card? Where is that card? Where's conditioning? I missed it. Here it is. Whoops. Samuro for conditioning is pretty good as rush as well, so that gives us some rush. Two rush minions, is that enough for Varian? Maybe. Uh, I think we also want weapons here probably, or any other hand buff as well maybe. Or direct damage cards, what else do you guys like here? Stage hand seems... Uh, Ironclad's kind of a fun idea. Remember, I want more aggro. I'm going to call this aggro taunt so people are thinking about the right stuff. What do you like that's more aggressive? Scrap Golem's a decent five mana taunt, but I already got a lot, right? I got more shot and stuff. Definitely need a weapon. What's the best taunty weapon? Is it just the Menagerie hand buff weapon? Is this really the best? I don't currently have a dragon or a mech. Oh, I have a mech. I don't have a dragon I really like, though. I don't want to go too Menagerie on it. It's like, it's a thought. We, we could add, you know... We could actually add like even a Nazoth and some, cause I have like pirate, obviously beast mech, but that's, that's a pretty late curve. I really want this to curve out a little bit more like hand buff paladin. Basically. I sort of want to make a, a hand buff paladin adjacent. I could maybe still run Watley, but the fives are so crowded already. I need more threes and fours. And, and maybe some ones, actually. Could probably do with some ones. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, again, I don't like Tentrasher that much. Amalgam is a thought. Because it's a four and it's a taunt. I'm okay with Amalgam. Actually, Mancrick is a good card for this list, probably just a solid three drop dude. Could go Lone Champion as well, but he doesn't have Taunt in hand, so that's a bit of a problem. Five mana rush, gain five attack this turn. Uh, I think you mean the card from Witchwood, maybe? That is, unfortunately, though, not in standard, sadly. 
It would be a welcome addition, though. I feel like I don't love the three drop spot we landed on there. I don't know. Amalgam seems, I mean, uh, Nazoth still just seems wrong for this, right? Like a one card play seems too slow. I like Varian because it redraws stuff. Uh, we need weapons now. We might have to run this. Information just to get more bodies. I, I remember when we played this before, I didn't really like it, though, is the thing. I remember thinking it wasn't that great, but we can try it at least for today. I got to get going because I said I was going to go 30 minutes and <laughs> I haven't even played a game yet. Marauder's kind of cool. It's a big guy. Still like threes better, though. Overconfident Orc seems all right. No one drops, though, in a deck that's supposed to be an aggro deck, right? That's that's concerning, I think. Could run Gnargs. They're kind of decent. Um, athletic studies. You know, I don't even hate Whetstone Hatchet. Could maybe run that as another weapon. I don't know. Maybe calling this aggro is wrong. Maybe it's more just like hand buff. You know, it's, it's it's a more aggressive hand buff, but maybe it's still just hand buff. Yeah, standard is in, in, indeed going to feel very slow after duels. Yes, <laughs> we just had the most crazy pop off in history. <laughs> and now we're going into this. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I am so beyond excited to see what Mercenaries is about, guys. I am just, like, losing my mind. Magni versus Malfurion. I must protect the Fire Lord. Whoa, interesting Baron's hand here. Too slow. We need cards. Faster cards. Uh, we got the same back. Okay. I love the idea of Stormwind Guard in this list. Like it does exactly what I want, right? It's it's a it's a fungal mancer for taunt decks. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it also looks cool. The golden looks really natural. That's one of the more natural golden animations I've seen in a Hearthstone card. Look at that. It's really do it. It looks like it's just perfectly animated. Usually golden cards are just more. Uh, I don't know. Just kind of wacky, but that that looks legit. It's subtle and looks good. They're just breathing. Um, bum, ba, da, da. Am I disconnecting? What's happening? Nope. Okay. The noyos are good, but I would rather play them after a buff. I mean, I'll play them, but without the follow-up right now, I don't know. It seems not good enough. Rokara would be good to follow up, I guess. Rokara would be nice. Diamond cards? What do you mean? Why are people writing diamond cards a lot? In regards to the animations? They're often almost even more like uh, the, the subtlety, you know, is what I'm talking about. I like diamond cards are sometimes too. <laughs> well, I said I had 30 minutes at the rate our opponent is playing. That's one game. <laughs> I have drained for days. This is kind of a Baron's theme deck, although we got a, a guard right here, a Stormwind guard. Whoops. Remember when Morshan Elite was considered OP? I guess not. I guess I don't remember that. No, I, if I'm being honest. Uh, I remember there was like a, a moment where it got played in something, but I don't remember thinking it was OP, I guess. I still think it's a pretty interesting card. 
if you hand buff it right, it, it's sort of nuts. If you think about it. Hello! I think there was a deck we made early on where this was like, we were playing this as like 8-8s and stuff, right? With conditioning and... And bulk ups and everything. The way this is going right now, though, bulk ups kind of hard to isolate it down to this because we have so many taunts. It's almost better if you did this. Uh... Here, here's a golden card where the animation's a little too goofy, you know. Like it brings it to life. I'm not complaining. It's fine, but it doesn't have that same subtlety as this one, where it kind of looks real. You know, this is a. It's 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 more obviously cartoonish, you know. Still still interesting though. Still cool. Ugh. This I maybe I needed to add brawls. No, we want to be an aggro deck. We can't have brawls. No. We're gonna play Stormwind Guard here and trade. It's perfect. Oh my god. The ultimate Stormwind Guard on five. Yes! It's the dream scenario. I can't believe we've done it. Bloom Owl. Oh my god, really? Okay, we're not doing it. This guy is playing at the speed of molasses, dude. Speed of molasses, man. The 910 Stormwind card. <laughs> Not exactly what I need. <laughs> I, I, this guy's playing too slow. I'm just bored. I, I I think they might be watching the stream, to be honest, but I'm just bored. I, I, I just... He's taking so long. I don't have that much time. It's cool if you watch the stream, dude. I don't care if you're watching. Just play faster. That's all I ask. No, no moral quandaries here. If indeed you're watching, just, just pick it up a little bit when you're watching. If you are. Magni versus Kel'Thuzad. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Couple good two drops. This is where I'm thinking, like, do we really need the one drop, though, you know? Maybe we really need a one drop here. Potatoes and molasses. If you can't see, put on your glasses. <laughs> is that a phrase? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Man, this game has changed. Last expansion I played was Shadows. Wow, it has changed since then, man. That is a that is a lifetime ago. That is a world ago. Really, only a couple of years, but. What's the sub goal to shave off your beard? I, I don't have one. I don't I don't want to shave off my beard. It's not a goal. I think long ago I said if I got to 500,000 subs on YouTube, I'd do it. Which, <laughs> although still far away, it seems at least remotely possible nowadays, whereas back then it didn't seem even remotely possible. So I'm a little, <laughs> a little nervous about that, but... 500,000 seems uh, within a, a very distant reach. We've actually, you know, we've done better on subs this expansion on YouTube than I ever dreamed. We've, uh, we're almost at 151,000. I, I didn't think I did 150 this year. It really slowed down for a while there. And then this last expansion picked up a ton. I gained like three, 4,000 subs in the last couple months which is faster than it had been in in six months or so i gained the most during uh early covid during ashes of outland i gained like same fifteen thousand in one one month or something which is so much more than normal all right aggro warrior go get him aggro taunt boys
No, not 500,000 subs on Twitch, on YouTube. <laughs> Not, not 500,000 Twitch subscribers. Good God. I would be retired and long gone if I had 500,000 Twitch subs. See you guys later. I'm out. You'll never see me again, dude. I'll disappear into the sunset, man. I mean, on YouTube. 500,000 subscribers, not Twitch subs. Sorry for the confusion. I'm gone at 500K. It's good. Nice knowing you guys. <laughs> okay. Conditioning finally good. Oh, good. Good hand for it, too, actually. All right. I'm gonna need this Thunder Fury. Can I pick this up and equip it real quick? Please? Please? Yeah, if you guys... I mean, it, I don't think any streamers have ever gotten to 500,000 subscribers, have they? I can't remember the numbers Ninja was getting when Fortnite was first out. I know it was insane, but I don't even think it was 500,000. That's equivalent to, like, millions of dollars. Well, not millions for me, but depending on your sub rate the higher tier streamers have higher rates or whatever it'd be like one and a half million dollars or something plus two million i think how bad is this deck uh i don't know pretty bad <laughs> i think it's pretty bad next turn we got a good turn but i hope i find a weapon for this guy soon Like, I could greed this right, but I just need to win quick against Mage. I don't have all day, so. I'm not going to greed it, right? Make them deal with this. Ignite should be three damage, but it shuffles into the enemy deck. Oh, that's a fun idea. It bounces back and forth every time it's played. Oh. Oh. And like you're, I feel like it would almost need to draw a card though, because that would make it really good, because it would like kill your opponent's draw too. Like yeah, you'd have to take some damage, but it would like kill their draw. All in due time. It might have to be like draw a card and deal damage, you know? Ugh, devolving missiles, bro. Really? Thank God one survived. If they'd sniped all three there, I was screwed. Still screwed, but I was really screwed. Don't freeze it. Don't freeze it. Come on. Don't freeze it. Oh, fireball, huh? All right. I mean, do I have to just play this guy? Can I get by without it? I, I don't know. Reading this feels... Oh, my God. I Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to attack. I'm an idiot. I'm actually a moron. That's a spell, bro. I did see Mr. Beast commented on Trump's video. Yeah, what a weird world. Yeah, what a weird world. Trump's a legend, dude. Trump's as OG as it gets. I don't know the timelines, but there might have been a window where Trump had more subs than Mr. Beast. I don't know when Mr. Beast started gaining all his subs. He might have looked up to Trump for a while. Think about that, how crazy that shift has been. Now Mr. Beast has like, what, 30 million or something? I don't even know. Of the frozen wastes, rise up. Uh, okay. Oh, I should have hit this. What am I doing? I don't actually know if that's right or not. It doesn't matter. We're losing anyway, so who cares? Uh, I mean, to be honest, this deck felt a little better than I thought. Like, we had some pretty good plays. I think this could have been much worse than it was. Like, we're making this mage work for it, and this is a refined high-tier meta deck. It's kind of a good sign, right? 
Could be worse. Uh, is it me or is everybody playing really slow today? Am I just like distracted and bored or is everybody playing like just stupendously slow today? Maybe I'm just used to that duels run and my pacing is off. But I feel like I'm just in a time warp right now. Oh my god, I was like, why did that hit for eight? Are you serious? They devolving missiles me into a void touched idiot. Really? Welcome, boys. <laughs> god, what a roll, dude. Wow. Do 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 do. Volt six, dude. Thanks to 18 months, man. Welcome back. Year and a half. I don't I can't play this right now. I'm like too bored for this right now. Um, I need to. I need to play something funnier or memeier or. Uh. I want to look at this deck real quick. I forgot what this is. It's about eating people's quest rewards, but. I don't know if it's any... Oh, yeah, I made this off stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a cool deck. Yeah, this is called Eat. Yeah, I'll play this. This looks fun. This is about eating people's quest rewards and disrupting them. Yeah, Eat. Eat. Eat, Rogue. Oh, I can't wait. Scabs! Let's the hunt begin. Time to slice and dice. Okay. Yeah, Hunter's not the matchup I was looking for, sadly. Shoot. We might just be dead against Hunter. I don't know. I was absolutely looking for Mage and Warlock here. Yeah, I can't believe Shenanigans doesn't show you what it transforms. It's so strange to me. It seems like that's the exact kind of thing Blizzard would love to because, um, you know, that's like what makes it interesting is how disruptive it is and how funny it is. It's such a great moment and a great story. So it's really shocking that they, I wonder if it's like a technical limitation or something that prevented that. I think they commented on it, but I can't remember what they said. This is a really cool counter to this, right? Like, there was still some stuff they could have played, so I was a little nervous that it wouldn't work, but pretty sweet that it that it panned out. So these aren't great watch posts against Hunter. Uh, this one can be okay, maybe. They they do have spells, of course. It's a good curve, at least. Resizing. They'll probably have to kill this, right? Like, attack face and then hit this. It's not bad for them at all. I mean, they get three damage and get to clear the minion. It's pretty good. Bump, 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 bottom. Uh, where's beef? I think you're talking about uh, savory deviant delight. We're talking about shenanigans, the thing that turns it into a banana. If I'm not mistaken, maybe you guys are talking about something different. I don't know. Maybe I missed the thread there. Can we expect a rat deck? Yeah, I'll eventually get to rats. I'm not that interested by them for some reason. They just seem boring. Hey, yes. Countered! Let's go! How often does this hit nothing versus a rhino? <laughs> I don't really want to hit a rhino, but if I hit nothing, I'm happy. I don't know if this is better or delights better, but for now, this is what we got.
I mean, with both piercing shots gone, we know some of their damage is out of the way. Uh, okay, that's slower. <laughs> Spells aren't going to be great against this Ogre Mancer, so... Although they could kill it right now, actually. Attack it again. Oh, they're going face this time, leaving the Ogre Mancer up. Interesting. Do I bounce this? I can't... I... 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 <sighs> Uh, I can I can save your Deviant Delight, but I might lose the Vol'jin, right? <laughs> okay, I didn't lose the Vol'jin. Let's see if we got some garbage card in their hand now. It'll still be a Rhino, won't it? Oh, nothing. Oh, even better. Okay, I gave them more cards, but that's sort of okay to the Ogre Mancer. And it's just a lot of mana commitment, too, which I don't hate. Oh, they top decked the Rhino. Really, man? Really? Really, 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 huh? Really? That was actually okay, I guess. Oh, boy. We're dead. I can't, I can't win. It's just too much. Um. Uh, hey, Strifester, what's up? If it isn't the coolest Hearthstone streamer, where? I don't see Dexter anywhere. Dexter? Dexter, where you at, bro? Dex? Oh, I gotta look down. He's in the basement. I forgot. <laughs> hey, look, I'm dead. Cool. He's in my chair. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I think I crushed him. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to kill you. <sighs> Dexter doesn't stream anymore? Really? Is he not been streaming? No Forgot to turn his power on, dude. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Warrior, huh? What is Warrior gonna have? I don't know. I just like this curve a lot. Man, imagine this curve against Mage. Woo! I actually believed you lived with Dexter for so long. I've been lied to. <laughs> you were lied to. He, he, uh... He lives with me. I don't live with him. It's an important distinction. <laughs> is that a lie? Is that truth? <laughs> You'll never know. You may never know. Uh, Sir Fiedsla, I have, yeah. I, I did indeed watch it, yeah. It looked pretty cool. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I don't like spreading the leakage too much, but uh, yeah, it looked cool. This combo slash aggressive meta stifles creativity. Yeah, it's really hard to build weird decks right now. You need slower metas and less refined synergistic stuff to have those windows for bad decks to work. I, I, we talked about this a little before. I was going to make a video, but I just haven't. Oh, I'm an idiot. I well, no, that's actually the right positioning. Put the highest attack thing in the middle to make uh, to make that awkward. We also might have just made it so any of his spells here are hard to cast if he has one for this Reaper Scythe, right? Like, he may need, may need to use Shiver their Timbers, and he can't because... He can't target. He's going to hit his own minion. Oh, it's Nitro Boost. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. That is indeed annoying. Ogre Boy's fine, I guess. Not a perfect trade here, but we're keeping up all right. Secret Passage into some value here. We might be able to keep up. We can maybe uh, Mutanus their, uh, their Rokara and keep up. Could frankly get my own Rokara and maybe just try to high roll it out, right? Like get a Vanessa Van Cleef sort of thing and just try to win that way. Like just, you know, I get a Gorhal, he gets a 1 4 or something, and then just outplay it that direction. This is not a good card right now. Anything really good off this? Not really. 
Guy's just shenanigans here, weirdly enough. Uh, oh, that sucks. That kills this. I didn't even realize. Uh, do, 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 do. This dies to pirates, unfortunately. Or to the quest proc, unfortunately. Scythe again. Man. I like Scythe. I think it's a criminally underrated... Uh, criminally underrated weapon. It's really good, I think. All right, this actually could help him, <laughs> but it could also hurt him. So, and it helps me probably because I can't play anything. Uh, oh, it helped him. That's a much better minion. Uh, this is good for me at least, though. I am getting really low, though. But he's got a better pirate, right? I made his pirate better as opposed to worse. I was hoping to give him a stealth minion there. The ninja, if you will. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Why isn't Meister in the stack? I thought we were just going to break it too quickly is the reason I didn't run it. Like Thematically, it's funny. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Oh, that's going to be a banana. Yes! Banana! You fool. How do I win this, guys? They still got some work to go, but I'm at 11 to the problem. I need... I need a swing here. I need this big old secret passage. I don't even know what watch posts are good at this stage. Can buy time with this, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's time to yet. Do I Mutanus now? Just to get a tempo advantage. No, that's not in the spirit of the deck, sir. Oh my god, really, man? This is what we're dealing with, really? Do I shadow step this for next turn? There's no advantage to. I don't know. Eh, I think we're just dead. I think it's over, ladies and gents. I like this deck though. This is actually pretty fun. This would be a good video deck if we get uh if we get the right opponents, right? Yeah, hopefully this 4-6 eats a couple of these. Nice! Called it! I am basically dead next turn though. I got cloak, so not really, but again, how do I win, man? How do I win? This guy's actually aggroed me down. It's crazy. He's actually amazing. I'm just always at four health, though. How, how do I possibly win? Uh, I don't know. We gotta try. There's the Rokara, so I can actually eat the Rokara, maybe. But again, how do I win? How do we win? Because I need health. I'm just dead on board. He has five. I can't play Cloak and Mutanus. Oh, I actually hit the Cloak. Ah, oh, man. If I don't play Mutanus, though... Uh, I'm just going to do it anyway, because I'm going to lose this game regardless, and I just want to eat the thing. I know, I know this is technically the worst play, because I, I always lose like this, but... It's funny. Did we get it? No, it's right there. Ah, oh, man. South Sea idiot, huh? GG. No, we don't share the same rage. I'm way more mad than you, bro, because I didn't get to eat your Okara, okay? This is eat rogue. We didn't eat. I think I should call this chef rogue, right? We've got the fish. We've got the fish who eats stuff. This guy eats weapons. Uh, this guy eats shadows. The neophyte eats spells. It's eat rogue. 
Eat rogue. All right, I'm gonna play one more game, guys, and I'm gonna go. Hopefully, we get mage, 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 mage. Quest hunter, quest hunter, quest hunter, quest hunter, quest hunter. Say it with me, everybody. Quest hunter. I think Vanessa Van Cleef eats paint. That's why her swords are dipped in it. She dips her daggers in paint. Those aren't poisons. Those are just paint. <laughs> She's a paint eater. Uh. Oh, interesting. I also have one of those. But mine's golden. This card is so good, dude. Neophyte is so good. Okay, cool. Oh, we're ahead on curve. Nice. We actually had a curve card. I think Crossroads here might be decent. Hunter does rely on a lot of spells, honestly, still. And this is pretty likely to stick on their board. Is he going to kill this? No, okay. This feels like it has a lot of potential here, actually. I like this. This is cool. Uh-oh, never mind. It has no potential here. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to get rhinoed. Oh well. Okay. At least that softens up a little. I can't really play Ogre Mancer here in good conscience, right? Cuz it just gets rhinoed. <sighs> Weirdly, um Vanessa does like Vanessa into this does get me a beast later. I have the Rust Rot Viper. It just dies to a 7 6 Rhino. Like, I just can't do that. It sucks so much. No one crosses the I still feel like Trampling Rhino is too good of a card, but am I the only person who really hates Trampling Rhino? I feel like it just slides under all the criticism radar, but it's so strong. I might be losing it. I don't know. Just doesn't seem fair to me. It seems so good. I guess in the scheme of things, that wasn't so bad. If he has another one, I'm in trouble. Wait, does he have another one? Wait, where is that one from? Oh my god, that's not even the one he had. This is another one. Oh my god. Uh Okay, I I hate it. It's so good. I really hate it. It's so good. And I drew the card on the regular the turn I wanted to play it. Like, what are the odds, man? What are the odds? I, I thought this was going to get nerfed over Kolkar. Kolkar doesn't bother me as much. I, I don't know, you know, from a win rate standpoint, you know, that may be uh, wrong because... Oh my god, is this happening? I love it. Okay. Man, I feel like I'm actually in this game. They've used a ton of damage and I'm still at 21. And I have Cloak? I don't know, though. I don't have any follow-up right now. Um, you know, Kolkar may be more impactful because it's early game, it's deciding games earlier, but Rhino sure feels worse to me, that's for sure. That's for sure. These have been very bad so far, but we haven't found the matchup we're looking for, right? Mage and Warlock. Is there anything here that's good enough for me? No, I don't think so, right? Well, Jin doesn't really do squat. Shadow Step doesn't do squat. I mean, Cloak theoretically buys me at the tiniest moment. This probably gets worse instead of better. Maybe it doesn't do anything, though. Okay, this is not the turn to Cloak, actually. But I'm going to lose Cloak is the problem. 
so. I mean, I've fl I've flipped, I've stabilized, but you know the damage is gonna is gonna be too much. Always. And I'm not dealing 26 here. Are you playing Runeterra anymore? No, I haven't been playing. Yeah, guys, Twitch is freaking out today. I, I don't know. I'm gonna stop. That's why I didn't want to stream too long after that duels ride because Twitch is freaking out. So that's why this will be my last game. Twitch driving me crazy here. Really hit the minion and don't go face there, huh? This feels like BM. I don't. I don't think that's the right call. <laughs> I think you go face. Oh, I found an armor vendor. Man, have I gotten a shadow step with that? Oh, oh my god, wait a minute. Okay, hold up. That's not enough still though, right? Oh god, I just made it better. Oh god, why did I do that? I just made it better. It became a two damage ping. Oh god. He didn't have any good minions left. I knew that. Oh man. I just made it way better. That was a pretty good little turn though, honestly. Man, I forgot I had these. Still don't think I pulled- He's still trading! I swear to god I'm getting BM'd. Why is he trading so much? Yeah, I'm still dead. Still super dead. Hungry, aren't you? Uh, oh yeah, Rune Terra. No, man, I've been playing Rune Terra as much. I, I, I went in and hit Diamond and was like kind of having fun, and then I just I, I get bored of it every time. I don't know why. And then they released new cards, and I felt like I was just too far behind and didn't want to have to learn. Even more new cards and a new meta. So I just keep getting, uh... I just keep getting separated from Runeterra every time. I don't know what it is. Theoretically, I love the game. There's a lot about it I respect and, and, and appreciate. But I don't have as much fun. Ever. As playing Hearthstone. I never have as much fun. I wish I could explain it because I would like to play more. Okay, I I didn't mean to queue, but I'm it. We'll we'll play it. It's fine. I didn't mean to queue, but it's cool. We'll play it. Okay, this this is poison rogue. This is nuts. We'll eat. I'd love to eat a hippo. How do you eat a hippo? One weapon at a time. Quest. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can eat the quest, too. Uh, we probably trade, then, because they do technically have weapons, but they're not that good. It's just that 3-2 weapon. It's not that impactful. Sometimes it's even bad because it hits my own minions, so... Alrighty. This is final game of the stream, for sure. 100% done. Final game of the stream. We'll let Twitch recover. Shenanigans armor vendor next turn looks good. This is pretty awkward. They want to play a lot of their SI7 agents, right? So this is actually, I think, a fairly good watch post against Rogue. I love that little tiny guy sitting up there. He's so cute. Like, it gives them a thing to hit, but they could have hit this anyway. So I, I think it's still net that advantage for us right Ooh, play more cards man all right watch post on four ogre on five giant on 12 <laughs> hey turin fly what's up Infiltrator, are you for real? God, really? 
In my stupid eat rogue, you got an SC7 infiltrator to counter me, man. It's got to be for mages. I mean, this probably hasn't worked against a mage in weeks, and he got it against a stupid rogue who's playing this for goofs. I know that's how things work. Man, I can't even protect my watch posts anymore. Shoot. All right. Giant is getting cheaper and cheaper, though, which is cool. His hand's increasing swelling a little bit with all these extra stuff, but he may dump five cards here. Who knows? I guess uh, once uh, Scabs hits, if he doesn't play all that stuff, it's a pretty good chance to get a Giant down. Yeah, here's five cards, like I said. <laughs> here they all go. Surely you're playing spells, though, right? And then buffing me? That's nice. Could be SA7 Asian, I guess. Ha, yeah. This guy's a toast. Here go five cards. Literally gonna play five cards. <laughs> At least four, maybe. I mean, what, <laughs> think about what he just saw. <laughs> he looked into my deck and it's just all garbage. He's like, I ain't gonna take any of those, honestly, man. Those cards suck. Jeez. Probably have to trade this down, hopefully. We can eat three, that's cool. Eat! Eat! How often do we think scabs gets uh, played but not kill like some or created but not played? Let's let's spit that out. I don't know. We got delight though. Let's Operative is a clear here too, but they might get a better gizmo sap it or something instead. Okay, that's better math, yeah. I think they're probably going to be able to play Scabs same turn, unfortunately, which is not what we were hoping to see. Maybe for some reason they'll wait, though. I don't know. If they do play Scabs same turn, Giant's probably going to be fairly cheap, at least. Dagger's a good sign. Maybe they finish scabs here and can't complete. Because they're spending mana on dagger, right? And then they play one more SI card, right? Yeah. Any SI card here. And then I eat. The problem is, even if I eat, I still don't know if I'll win. It's not like it's trivial. This looks like a shadow step. Yeah. Uh, which means they cannot play scabs. This guy's Which means I might be able to eat. The question is, do they have other minions in hand? <gasps> oh, that's good. Yes, play those minions, you fool. This is a an SI, this is a gizmo, so it could be a minion, could not be. I don't know. <gasps> Okay, surely this eats, right? There's only two cards in hand. Surely it eats. Eat. Yes. We finally got to eat. We're going to lose the game, but we got to eat, my God. What did they get even? They got sneaky delinquent. Hopefully they trade so I can win this game. Otherwise, we are screwed. Like, I just don't have any <laughs> recovery. They're just going to hit me in the face. I need them to start trading in. Better be something good. This is a spell, maybe. We don't know for sure, but seems like it could be for sure. Yeah, see, if they just go face, I can't trade. I have Cloak, but that's not going to recover the board. I need... I don't know. I don't have it. I don't have any removal. <laughs> this thing has no removal. <laughs> As soon as you're marginally behind on board, you just lose. 
That's great, isn't it? Uh... I think that's debatable, but my thought was they don't have a lot of cards, so how much can they really net a discount here? I don't know. And it's just more expensive, so... Might be harder to play. I wonder if they'll trade now or just wait. They'd be smart to wait, but they, they may not know that. This was a spell, by the way, it turns out. So the eat was guaranteed when we ate. Eat! What's the rub? Oh, that's big. I need Mutanus to suddenly work on board. <laughs> need a spell for this, maybe? Okay. Cloak again. Oh, coerce! Oh my god! Actually insane! Still dead, but still insane. Oh my god. I'm alive at five. But they have three cards in hand. Scabs? An unknown spell? Probably like the sap, maybe? I don't think it's the damage they would have used it already. Could be a weapon, I guess, too, of course. Oh, they just got wicked stabbed. No! Pretty fun game, anyway. I like this deck a lot. We'll play this more. We need mage, man. We need mage. Alright, guys, I'm gonna hop off. Let me drop a raid before I go. Sorry for all the hiccups on Twitch today. I, I, I don't... I suspect it's not my fault, but I don't know. I'll take the blame anyway. That's my brand. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm so sorry I let you down. All right. Uh... Person's name is Bored Bubbles. That sounds fun. So enjoy the raid, everybody. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, crazy good duels run. Some fun deck experimentation here at the end. We'll, we'll continue more of this probably tomorrow. But uh, yeah, see you soon. Good luck out there. Thanks for watching. Check out YouTube for more videos as always. Thanks to the subs and bits and follows and all that great stuff. Uh, and uh, of course, until next time, game on.